I'd like to talk to you about the dark side of the birth control pill. Now, this is fascinating because there actually is no real estrogen or progesterone in a birth control pill. What you do have is a synthetic version altered in a way to mimic estrogen and progesterone, okay? But it has some slight minor complications. It comes with a package. It can increase your risk of heart attacks, high blood pressure, stroke, blood clots, breast cancer, dementia, depression, acne, mood swings. It can even trigger autoimmune diseases, especially lupus. It can cause you to gain weight by increasing cortisol and insulin. It can also deplete you of zinc, selenium, magnesium, B12. Another side effect it could create is something called melasma, which is like a hyperpigmentation of your skin where your the pigment of your skin is darker in a, like a rash form. Also, it can alter the microbiome, not only in your gut, but in the vaginal canal as well. Now, when you think about uh, the reason why women take the pill, mainly to prevent getting pregnant, but they also might take it to prevent heavy cycles and heavy bleeding, okay? So there's various reasons why women take it. So the birth control pill basically tricks the brain and shuts down ovulation. Ovulation is usually about right around day 14 when there's a release of the egg. So by taking the birth control pill, you shut down ovulation and you also shut down menses. So you, typically you don't have bleeding, even though some women still do spot. But what a lot of women don't realize is when you take this pill, you are shutting down the production of estrogen and progesterone. You see, in a monthly cycle, a woman has a spike of estrogen at day 14, and then they have this other uh, increase of progesterone the second half of the month. So this is very different than men that make testosterone on a daily basis. But women make their two hormones, progesterone and estrogen, more with like two major spikes, not necessarily every day. So the problem is when we remove this, okay, we're not looking at the effects long-term. And I'm talking about the long-term effects that can occur after menopause, to the bone, even longevity. You see, the reason why women live longer than men really has to do with estrogen. Estrogen can act as an antioxidant, but all this is kind of depressing if you're taking the pill or considering a birth control. So what should you do? Well, let's just take a look at the effectiveness of how well um, these birth control pill methods work of preventing pregnancies, okay? So the pill is between 93 to 99% effective, depending on how well that you use the pill and follow directions, okay? Then we have vaginal rings, which is 93% effective. You also have IUDs. You have the hormone version, which is 94% effective. And then you have the copper IUD, which is 99% effective. Now, the copper IUD, which I did a video on, is a bit better than birth control because it has less side effects, but it does come with certain complications. Condoms, 87% effective. But this next one is something that you should look into. I, I like it. It's FDA cleared. It's called Natural Cycle Birth Control. It's an app that you track. You don't have to use any creams or medications or anything. And it's actually pretty effective. It's between 93 and 98% effective, depending on how well you implement it and you follow the instructions. I mean, considering some of the side effects from some of these compared to this, it's definitely something to look into. So I put a link down below so you can do some research on this method right here, because this may be a safe solution. Now, if you've been in the pill or decide to continue on the pill, I would highly recommend the same time you do things to counter some of the the chemicals that are in your liver. And I would recommend beefing up, no pun intended, your cruciferous vegetables, as well as fermented vegetables. I'm talking about sauerkraut and kimchi, and maybe even a good probiotic, as well as taking more zinc, selenium, B12, and magnesium to counter the deficiencies that this pill has created. Now, one last point, if you're taking the pill for other reasons, let's say you are trying to um, avoid a heavy period, 
This is the video that you should see next. Check it out.